Hello, so today we're going to have a quick look at how you can use Rating the Races to um, improve your current betting practices. Um, we've got a few features in here that we've introduced for both premium and for free members, which is essentially going to enable you to dig into the data of the selections and the naps that you're currently submitting or, or downloading to um, your device. Um, so all I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go into the dashboard here, and this is um, I'm logging into one of my premium accounts, I'm at a premium test account actually, um, to have a look into the statistics of it. Now I've only ever played with this nap, uh, this premium account on the nap comp only the once. Um, I didn't do particularly well, and obviously we've got the data for that. Um, but the good thing that we've done is if if there was a lot of data here, is I could go into the detailed stats for my nap picks, and I could start to break it down by all, that's not very useful, break it down by the courses that I've picked at, exchange styling price, distance in furlongs, base type. So let's actually have a look at this for the selections because I know I have actually submitted some selections for this. I just went in on a couple of days uh, and in fact if I quickly load up my dashboard again and open up another tab to show you, um, the selections that I have submitted, latest selection results, I literally only did two days, I think let me just quickly go into my selections. Um, now the selections tool, for those of you who aren't familiar with it, enables you to either um, post to the forum or download a whole list of selections um, and it will automatically work out for you uh, how well you would have done to the price when you select it, the exchange starting price and the industry starting price as well. Um, and you can see here that I would do significantly better to the exchange starting price compared with both the price when I selected it. Now this may be because the market hadn't formed yet, uh, and obviously to the industry starting price. And this is because generally, from a win win only perspective, um, this is uh, normally offers worse value than the betting exchanges do. So betting exchange starting price trumped it on that day. And I believe I've only done the two days, and I've just selected a whole host of. Um, of runners that I thought looked likely. I think I picked two in each race or something. Um, you know, li literally just to get a whole load of data so that I could run this demonstration to be honest. So yeah, you can see that here obviously we have the same thing again and it works out your strike rates, your P&L um, to ISP, exchange starting price and the um, price when you selected it. I mean this price when you selected it is the exchange price when you selected it as well, just for just for your reference. So this is very, very useful for being able to paper trade systems and also uh, methodologies. So if, if you've got kind of a loose system or a loose methodology that can't be specifically written down as a bunch of rules, then you can come into the web ratings, make those selections, submit them to the forum or download them, um, and it will automatically track your performance so that when you come to your statistics, you can say, ah, oh, well, I'm actually quite interested now. I've got quite a lot of runners. You know, it's not tons and tons. It's only 120. But I can start to look at how I've done by different courses and see which courses I'm doing particularly well at. So I can see I've done well at Wolverhampton. I've done OK at Worcester. And if you wanted to sort this, you can sort this by P&L. Let's make it so that the biggest are at the top. Wolverhampton and Worcester are the best two that I've done. Um, achieved significantly uh, more profitable ROI there. Um, than everywhere else, um, and obviously over over a long period of time, you may start to get to a thousand selections or or what have you. This data will become more and more meaningful. Um, so we can also do it by exchange starting price. How have we done for exchange starting price? And my most most profitable um, exchange starting price is between thirteen point five and fifteen point seven one. Now these are, seem to be very abstract ranges, and um, but the reason that we've chosen the ranges that are here is because they represent a proportional amount of the runners that ever existed. So there is, there is method in the madness there. Um, distance in furlongs, race type, I can see that I've done better on the all-weather flat. Hurdles, not so good on bumpers, not so good on the flat. Different goings, good, standard, good to soft. Good to firm and soft, I've not done so well on. Handicap or non handicap. Different trainers, so you might start to be able to break down. You actually do particularly well with a different with one particular trainer. I mean, I'm two from two when I picked um, with Sir Mark Prespot. And obviously, this is a um, this is a very small data set in, in reality. It's only two from two. But as you continue to use these features, it's going to deliver more and more to you. And this is available to both our 
free and our premium members. The only difference in what is delivered to the free and the premium members here is when we, we're adding more and more of these filters, so different start dates and end dates. This filter here is a premium only feature. The rest of it, the actual ability to filter by trainer and jockey and everything else and different months of the year, um, is going to be available to all the free members as well. So you're going to really be able to get the best out of this tool um, so that you can, you can really empower yourself to make smarter betting decisions going forward. Um, thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed the quick demonstration. Um, look forward to seeing more of you using the product. Cheers.